Hey guys, it's me, Death of One of Us. Um, I just got the news that um, Tony Soprano, aka uh, the actor James Gandolfini, died. I can't believe this. I'm, I'm in a little state of shock right now because um, I'm I was a big and I still am to this day a big Sopranos fan. Um, a friend of mine back in uh, this is going all the way back to middle school actually when we uh, first started watching that show. Um, got me into the Sopranos because uh, he was Italian and um, he had actually he had ties to some uh, to a famous gangster uh, Joey Gallo and um, we were big mafia movie fans back in the day and um, Sopranos we loved I mean we would we'd watch that um, at, at my friend's house his, his parents were always good at cooking really good Italian dinners and whatnot and I remember we watched the, uh, the the uh, Sopranos uh, series finale. We had a big uh, Italian dinner, and we were on the edge of our seats for the entire time. And then um, it ended the way it ended. Ended. If you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it for you. I mean, if you haven't seen The Sopranos, you should get out there and see the fucking Sopranos because it's a great series all around. Um, it ended, and then we went out to a bar and we we uh, argued about you know the ending. If, you know, what we thought about it and whatnot, and uh, it's funny, um, the song in that ending, um, Journeys Don't Stop Believing, when we would be driving around and that we would listen to that song, there's a part in that song where it ends abruptly, because I guess I'm kind of spoiling, not, but not really, um, the ending, but um, there's a part in that, in that, that scene where the song, um, Journeys Don't Stop Believing, it, it stops, it stops abruptly, and my friend, when it would come to that part, he'd slam on my uh, my CD player and turn it off, you know, abruptly. And I I've, I've carried on that tradition to this day. Whenever I listen to Journey in in a when I'm driving around, I always do that just because it, it just it was so funny to us. But yeah, James Gandolfini, you know, I can't believe I can't believe he's dead. It's it's crazy. And and um, he was one of those actors, you know, outside of The Sopranos that I just I loved seeing him in movies. He just he had like he just had a way of just popping up in movies, and I love, I just love seeing him in, in uh, all the movies he pop, he would pop up in. Um, I'll just go through his his uh, filmography. Um, he was in uh, True Romance as a gangster. He, was, he had a really good role in. That's kind of that's probably where he, uh, probably where he started to you know get a little bit of recognition because you know True Romance it being a. Uh, a um, Tarantino project and whatnot. It, it got him some recognition. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of cast got a lot of recognition in that movie. But um, Gandolfini played a really good part in that one. Um, some other movies that he was in. Um, he was in. Um, he was apparently in. I haven't seen this. I'll have to check this out now. He was in a remake of Twelve Angry Men, uh, the Peter Fonda movie. He was in a remake of it. It was a TV movie. It came out in '97. I'll have to check that out and see. Uh, he played juror number six. I can't remember who played juror number six in the. I kind I kind of remember. I think I I think it's the same guy from from that who was I think maybe a racist in that in the uh, Peter Fonda version. So I'll have to check that out and see if uh, he plays the same guy that I'm thinking of. So that'd be that's pretty cool. See, I didn't even know that until I looked up his uh, filmography just now. Um, he was in Eight Millimeter. He played a really uh, sleazy scumbag in Eight Millimeter with Nicolas Cage. That was a really good movie. Um, the Man Who Wasn't There. Um, I remember seeing that. I have to see that again. It was kind of a uh, who directed that? I think that was by Billy Bob Thornton. I think he directed that. No, it was one. It was by the Coens actually. Wow. Yeah. So I have to check that. I have to check that out again because I love the Coen brother brothers. Um, what else? Uh, he was in The Last Castle, um, and then, you know, obviously, he was in The Sopranos. You know, that was what made him, you know, famous, and I think in a way, and, I mean, I don't know this, you know, to be certain, I'm not, I'm not really a film historian or, you know, I, I'm not an expert on film and whatnot, but I kind of think Sopranos, in a way, you know, it kind of typecast him for playing the, the, the tough guy, you know, the tough, you know, gangster type. I think that's a good thing, you know, but if he, he's always going to be, you know, to me, he's always going to be Tony Soprano, and that's a good thing, because that is such a, it was just such a damn good show, and um, what else was he in? He was in the Taking of Pelham 123 remake as the mayor. I don't really recall him that much in that in the remake, 
but um, he was apparently in the he did a voice in the Where the Wild Things Are. Are uh, I'll have to check that out. And this is good. He was in Welcome to the Rileys and. James Gandolfini, this is how good of an actor he was. He made watching a Kirsten, a movie with Kirsten Stewart in it, and if you know me, um, I cannot stand Kirsten Stewart. He made you know a movie with her in it actually somewhat enjoyable. So that's how good of an actor James Gandolfini was. Um, what else was he in? He was recently in um, Killing Them Softly. He was pretty good. He played kind of like a drunk uh, gangster type. Uh, very good stuff all around. Um, he was in Zero Dark Thirty, apparently. I'll have to check that out eventually. Um, the Incredible Burt Wonderstone. I want to check that out as well. I wonder if he played a, a musician, a, mu a, a musician in that. A mu magician. That's what I was trying to say. A magician in that. So, that, and then he has some other stuff uh, that's in, like, you know, being completed and is in post production that I'll, I'll get around to checking out eventually. So, um, oh, and apparently he was in he was in the start of a uh, a series that probably is going to be canceled due to him having died. Well, that's a shame because they don't. It's only lists you know one episode that's been done. So I'm guessing it was just the pilot, and so that's a shame unless they recast him. And I hope that at, out of honor, like an honor to him, they they don't recast him and they just they just cancel it and just see it as a you know a tragic you know loss. But, um, yeah, James Gandolfini, uh, it's, it's tough, you know, it's really a shame that no, no long, he's no longer with us and we're no longer going to see him, and I'm still watching Sopranos to this day, and I'm going to continue to, because it was just such a damn good show, and he was such a damn good actor, and it's a damn shame that, uh, we're not going to see him anymore in movies, so, um, yeah, that's all for, for me, it's really a shame. So, this has been Death by Blender Bus. Take care, guys. Hey! Oh! And I, I could really go for some smoked turkey. Damn it! We're out of the smoked turkey! You know, I work, I work damn hard all day, and I just want to come home to some goddamn smoked turkey. That, that one's for you, Tony Soprano. Take care.